So we've moved on to question two now, suggested time 20 minutes. Uh, there will be practices. Uh, it would be sensible to get students to practice these uh, SAMs and mocks that we'll be producing. Question two, uh, open file question two, save as finished. So a good place to start is to grab the file and save it straight away. I think this kind of practice and training and suggesting to students that that's the first thing, the very first thing they do is always sensible because you means that you clearly have an untouched, clean version to go back and look at if you do get into uh, difficulties. So here, let's read, let's have a read of question two. Amend the code to fix syntax on line 13. Fix syntax on line 15. Yeah, I can see the missing bracket here, missing colon. So let's just go do that. Let's not uh, milk it at this stage. There's another on line 17. It looks like there's a missing quote. So when, when you find um, questions that have marks for f fixing syntax, it is important to say that what we're looking at is the ability of the students to use their IDE and computer programming skills to find and eradicate errors of different times. So they of different types. So they need to know what the different error types are and how to eradicate them. I could have, if I hadn't spotted it, I could have found them or got tips by running the bit of the snippet of code in the uh, IDE. As it is, I've just run this and I've got up to goodbye. Uh, the syntax errors have been dealt with. Change the identifier X to a more meaningful name. Display suitable question. So we want to prompt. Accept the user's input of Y or N. So it's always very important that we uh, specify that no validation is required because otherwise you can get and you can go down a rabbit hole of trying to capture invalid questions. Students will not be expected to do any more than they're asked to in the question. So when you see no validation required, you can assume that someone will type only the Y or the N in lowercase. Then we're going to add a comment and add two uses of white space to aid readability. So let's have a go. So they're being asked to make a choice. So let's call the variable choice. And then that means that in here, we're going to be looking at choice. So I think that's this one done. A display a suitable question for the user. So here we're going to go use the input. Oh no, we're not going to capture anything here. We'll just print. Print. Would you like me to sing? Question mark. If I could spell it would help. And then we're going to here input, of course, assigning that to the variable choice input choose. Oh, yes, and Or no. Okay, so I think we have a uh, is there anything else? So 
No validation is required. Add a comment to explain the effect of the ranges functions. Last parameter set to minus one. Here it is. So I'm going to add a comment. So that's uh, the comment in there now for um, the uh, minus one in that. So finally, we've got add two uses of white space to aid readability. Well, So I've scrolled down to the uh, question two mark scheme here, and um, the, these elements won't be in in the final mark scheme, uh, but it's in the SAMs to say where the assessment objectives are. Here's the mark. So this is marked by uh, point by point, um, and then if you scroll down, you'll see that uh, there's an actual code to compare with your student's code. Now it doesn't have to match exactly this to get all the right marks. It can be done uh, slightly differently if, if they like. So we're adding the colon for one mark here. We're missing the bracket. We'll fix that. That's another mark. Add missing before in bracket. Print goodbye. Oh yeah, there was a missing uh, quote. That's right. Then uh, printing a suitable question. Do you want me to sing? Would you like me to sing? Any reasonable prompt would work. Yeah. Except the user input of N and Y is there. Uh, input and assigning that to choice. Changing the variable name to more. Oh, choice is the one they've got in here. It could have been yeah, so something like uh, choose. Uh, addition of comment indicating reverse stepping. So I put my uh, comment here at the end of that line. Uh, it could have been put on a line above. That would have been fine. One mark each for insertion of white space to aid readability. So there wouldn't be more than two marks given for that. And correct output for Y, count down, and then goodbye. Correct output for N is just goodbye. I haven't tested that yet. So that was something I should really have done. I only ran my code using Y. I should also have checked that N went straight to goodbye. So I may have, uh, you could say that in terms of practice, uh, that would be a good tip. So that's question two.